Even the most rugged safety equipment can be damaged under your job's hardworking conditions. That's why making sure your SCSR is in good shape before you need it increases your chance of survival when there's trouble. But exactly when is your SCSR okay to carry? And when should you turn it in and get a replacement? You don't need to guess. This program will show you what to look for when you do your daily pre-shift inspection. Here's what to look for on the black model SRLD. Start by taking your SCSR out of the pouch. You need to see it on all sides. Make sure the pouch holds the SCSR loosely so you can get it out when you need it. Make sure the indicator windows are clear of grime. Look at all three windows. They show you whether the unit's been exposed to too much moisture or heat. The top and bottom moisture indicators should be half blue and half white. If either one turns solid blue, the SRLD fails. Return it and get a replacement. The temperature indicator should be white. If the temperature indicator looks pink or light red, it still passes. However, if the temperature indicator is red, it fails. Return it and get a replacement. Now see how old your SRLD is. The date it was made is marked on the stainless steel security band and on the case, next to the security band. If your SRLD is more than five years old, return it and get a replacement. On any SCSR, if you notice any change in indicator color during your daily visual inspection, return it and get a replacement before you go to work. If an indicator changes during your shift, your SCSR will give you some protection. Make sure you return it at the end of the shift and get a replacement. But a unit that's been damaged, accidentally opened, submerged in water, or in some other way made unusable during your shift will give you no protection. Get a replacement immediately and return the old unit at the end of the shift. Now, let's check for some signs of external damage. Here are some of the signs to watch for. An SCSR that's been opened accidentally can fail, even if the covers are still in place and the starter tag hasn't been touched. Loose or bent security bands, cracks or punctures, dented covers, loose, dislodged, or damaged rubber seals. All of these SCSRs must be taken out of service due to excessive physical damage. The next step in the daily inspection, you must inspect the pull loop and clip. Ordinarily, the loop is held flat by a small steel clip so it can't be pulled accidentally. But a hard physical impact to the clip may cause it to hold the loop tightly. You can inspect the loop and clip by moving the fabric back and forth. If the loop cannot move back and forth at all, adjust the clip to allow for slight movement. If the loop is torn or missing, return it and get a replacement. Check the tamper seal, a small copper security seal that wraps around the steel security band on top of the SCSR. Make sure the seal is undamaged, as you see here. If the seal is broken or missing, return it and get a replacement. You'll have an easier time spotting damage and reading the emergency instruction label on a clean SCSR. So, keep your unit clean enough to inspect it or to open it if you need it. But never immerse it in water or never pressure wash it or clean it with petroleum-based solvents. Simply use a damp rag if needed. Ask your supervisor or trainer if you have any questions about the pre-shift inspection or condition of your SCSR. Remember that a reliable SCSR could save your life if you find yourself in an emergency. This video is for supplemental training and reference and does not replace the need to review all product literature, which can be found at www.csecorporation.com. If you have any questions, you can contact CSE or your local representative.